are you going to get up to us today? Who knows? I am not an expert, just a business sponsor. Here to give my thoughts and opinions. And continue space. Time for the book club. The comic book, graphic novel, and longer book club. I call it having a comical time. Before we get into today's, you know, book club episode, I just want to say, you know, thanks to everyone who subscribes, likes, and comments. It means a lot. Don't worry, content is coming. <laughs> I just, I haven't been feeling well. And yeah, that's kind of where I've been. I've been sick, I've been tired. My mental and physical health comes first. And so I can make the content that we all know and love and enjoy. Also, a beloved member of the comic book community, comic historian, who has recently died. Yeah, I, let's take a <laughs> minute of silence for him. Benny, you were, you were always first class, and that's what the book we're going to do. X-Men First Class, written by Jeff Parker, drawn by a lot of people. One of the artists is Nick Dracota, the artist of East of West. If you would want me to do East of West, let me know in the comments. Not just Benny, you know, died, but also my grandma and cousin died. My grandma died in March, and recently my cousin passed away. So to everyone who lost a loved one, I know how you feel. And I'm sorry for your loss. Like the Demon Hunter song says, life is a path past the destination. So still, what the hell is X-Men First Class all about? <laughs> the X-Men, they're, you know, going through the danger room, you know, making sure, you know, that they're ready to go on their mission. We go on the mission. Our team consists of Iceman, Angel, Jean Grey, Cyclops and Professor Xavier. After finding, I forget who it was, but they find this person in like a bunker and then they go to Florida to Kirk's place for like a nice fun vacation. Well, it turns out their vacation went awry and Kurt went back in time to find a serum that Spider Man. <laughs> Yep, so you guys have to go back in time to find Kurt so that the serum doesn't get into the wrong hands. They also go into Xavier's mind. That was my favorite issue. It felt very slice of life and the humor was on point. Basically, Xavier shows the X-Men them having breakfast and it was really funny and touching. It kind of made me realize why people love X-Men so much because they are family and I guess someone gets left behind and <laughs> we can all be a dysfunctional family. They do run into some poachers in the time period and they get captured. And then, you know, Xavier's like, oh, we got to go back to save them. And it's like, whenever someone's in trouble, they always go back to save them. Like this family is really, really important to them. I really dig that about the X-Men. The art is very cohesive, even though it's drawn by multiple people. You wouldn't think that. The art, you would think it'd be different with each artist. It kind of reminds me of Sandman. A little bit not like Sandman's art. I didn't know how I feel about this book. I wasn't sure if I was going to love it or not like it because, to be honest, I don't read a lot of X-Men. I've read some Cable, I've read some Deadpool, but I never read pure X-Men and this was just on a whim. So I saw it on the list of disabled comic books that you know people should read and I'm like, oh, I like Jeff Parker, I like his Batman 66. Hmm. I saw it on Amazon for like 13 bucks, I'm like, hmm. Thirteen bucks for nine issues. That's 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 not bad. I know that you know this is like self-contained graphic novel, 
And that's kind of what I was looking for. I know people love God Loves the Man Kills, and to be honest, <laughs> I don't know if I want to read that just yet. I hear it's kind of like the Watchmen of the X-Men <laughs> series. I know people say Krakoa is a good jumping on point. I'm not sure. I know it just ended in very, very, very long. There's almost hundreds of issues of it, and I know that might be a little bit too daunting for me. I don't know. I just, I feel X-Men's kind of impenetrable, you know, kind of like Spider-Man. It's like, it's hard to figure out when, you know, what's a good jumping in. And this was a good jumping in, even though in the beginning, I feel like, what is going on? But I was able to figure it out, piece it together. Yeah. <laughs> so, memory of Benny, he is first class, and all of our loved ones are first class. And we should keep their legacy going forward. I feel like, you know, we should, you know, talk about our passions, you know, let's be passionate about things that we loved. And that's what Benny did. And that's what my grandma did and my cousin. They were always passionate about what they were passionate about. You know, keep keep the torch going forward. Yep. So, did you read it? Did you not read it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you interested? Are you not interested? Let me know in the comment section down below. Listen, everyone. It's time to say goodbye. Be calm and cookie. Thank you for watching. Do you have like a subscribe button? Always stay classy.